Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays, Red Dead Redemption 2. On the last episode, we were searching for some animals. And today we're we're continuing that. Okay, let's let's not get hasty now. Hold your side! I am holding it! Hold yours! What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. Yeah, guys, it's a dog. We've seen them do this nonsense already before. Yeah, boy. With a dog and a cougar. Didn't look like no dog. Search the barn. Come here, boy. Let's go. Where is that little pooch? Puppy! Come here, puppy! Uh, it's a hell of a dog. Um, where, 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 uh, mm, how, how I, can I just go back out the front, I guess? Look what you've done! Look what you've done! Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of this. Uh, something, something tells me that, uh, this ain't no dog. Are you kidding me? So they did actually have a lion? They really set me up for <laughs> for failure here because I was like, well, you know, it's a puppy. Oh my god. What do I how do I'm not gonna be able to capture this thing? Like, how do you capture a sweet mother? Oh, dear Christ. Easy boy. Easy shit. Somehow I'm alive. But I died of bleeding. I didn't want to shoot the thing! I could have filled it full of lead. I was like, well, no, I don't want to kill it. I don't want to kill it. I just want to, like, shoot the paws. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> Darn it. I feel bad about that. I feel really bad about that. But you can't... You, you can't freaking... You can't tame a lion, man. Woo, he got it. He shot the thing. Is it dead? I pray that thing's a goner. Oh my god. We got a lion's paw. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. I agree, partner. Sorry about uh, all the trouble caused. I never seen one of those before, and I hope I don't again. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Well, at least I didn't get to emoji. God knows I don't need any other dead horses. Eh, part of me wants to loot this guy, but I think everyone would be real upset about that, so I'm just gonna just gonna leave it here. Emoji, how you doing? You've seen some serious stuff, I know. Alright, let's see. Where on earth is Margaret from here? Just down at the camp? Feel bad about the lion, but like, dude, you had a real lion. Where's all that blood? Odysseus returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. A man-eating lion. You didn't think 
that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron! Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for... You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. Yeah. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. My god. Well, they were uh, interesting folks. Neat. And uh, they gave me something. Some sort of Large emerald. Okay. A gift from Margaret the Animal Handler. I'm assuming I can probably either just sell this or sell it to a fence. One of the two. Let's go, girl. Speaking of, I'm probably not that far from a fence. There's a fence down in uh, San Denis. Uh, I could probably hit up Albert Mason on the way down there. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, hey. For it up. What is this, a joke? You trying to pawn crap off on us? I've had enough of this. Both of you get your hands up. Now! Oh, God, something's going down. Do I need to intervene or not? Not a word about this, or we'll find you and take that tongue. Okay. My mistake. I try not to get involved. To be honest. You guys got anything on you though? Maybe a little bit. I don't care much for the honor. I do care about getting free sticks of dynamite and a gold belt buckle. Alright, I'm away. It isn't my good friend Albert Mason. It's been a while, pal. How you doing? They creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary... You carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> the ten percent have survived. They're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, and to the northwest, there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look then. I did one, not think I was going to be doing alligator shooting. hunting I'll today, try. but here we are. Don't get too close. We'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Oh, look. Oh, that little beach. Boars. We're in luck. An alligator won't be far away. 
saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Got it! Quick, quick! I must get this shot! Spin us around! Now, turn us. We caught him! In the middle of his dinner! This is history making, truly. Nature, in all its glory and cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't! Okay! So, um, now it's southwest or due west. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Well, Gators got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. Right. Right. There, in the canebrake. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. There, in the channel. You see its head? I see it. I'm trying to turn us around. Line us up to it. Closer now. Closer. Excellent. Beast in repose. All is calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than, than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop in. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? God, this is frightening. <laughs> Maybe it's just because alligators are where I live, so I've seen plenty of them. Get a little bit closer here. the boat just there, off the island. Sure. If we stop too long, locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. Fine. Maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Out you go, then. Get him and uh, get him to notice you, and then turn tail and run. Oh my God! I'm eating. I hope he eats you too. Oh my God! I see the dug on well, thing. He's awake. Oh on, God! Nearly got him eating me. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe, maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. I, uh, I, I really love these side missions, but especially Albert Mason, it, they've become increasingly more interesting. When they started, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, take some photos, sure. But like going out and like having to take photos of oh, yes. uh, alligators, that's really cool. Just pull up to the bank. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well. I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, 
Good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. That's a good man. That's just a wholesome interaction, man. I think that's why I like these missions so much, specifically with uh, with uh, Mr. Mason. Is because it's just wholesome. The interactions that uh, Arthur Morgan and he have together. Anyway, all right. So uh, I think I'm gonna go try and get rid of this this emerald. Uh, I don't know if I have to go to San Denis or not, but uh, I'm close enough, so I'm probably just gonna stop in. This emerald is worth 50 bucks. Cool. I'll also go ahead and get rid of uh, a bunch of this other crap I've been holding on to. Also, because I have the lion's paw, I can um, craft the lion's paw trinket, which will permanently increase the player's stamina experience bonus by 10%, um, which seems pretty good. I don't know why I Here wouldn't do are. that. Some of my best work. And these other things I don't have yet, but I'm sure I'll get them at some point. I won't ask too many questions about its previous ownership. Next up, we are continuing on with our uh, our missions related to the uh, the Grays and Braithwaite's. Because we had had a uh, letter from Penelope that we needed to deliver to Bo. Who I believe is in here? Even though it's night? <laughs> hey buddy, how's it going? You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. All right. I'm I'm a I'm gonna take my horse if that's okay. She's small, but she she gets me there. and take the road to town. All right, sounds like a plan. I'm with you, Bo. These missions, are, I mean, like all Rockstar games, I feel like the missions are always like very interesting, even the side stuff. But uh, I've been real impressed with uh, with Red Dead so Easy, far. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally good as the cause is. I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? 
All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, yes ma'am. Let liberty reign! It's just interesting to see all of the different things that were happening in America in 1899 and how, you know, the game hits on all of them. To the steps of the Bank of Rhodes, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Easy there. Oh, don't give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Go home! Go. Shut your mouth! What are you the doing? hell is going on? Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Shit! Oh, Causing all this trouble. Sick. You don't even know what you're doing. Come on! 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 All of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Ah. Ah. Yes, equals, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fair, equal, and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh. Yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. <laughs> His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always were. Bo, little... why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Speak harsh about Follow me, Ronnie. Hello, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, God, I love Arthur Morgan too much. Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all... We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. I was just gonna beat the the guys up. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before. Kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. My horse decided this to slow down. This is awful! Nobody died. 
Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Have a good one, Bo. 30 bucks. Certainly not bad. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time for more. You okay, girl? You okay? You know what you need. <laughs> you need a brushing. Why can't I brush you? There we go. Brushing. You need a brushing? Hey, Very slow to load go. brushing. Good girl. Good girl. Good hair. See you guys next time for more Stephen Plays Red Dead Redemption 2.